a short update video. Uh, not much time for hobbies this week. I added some parts, decided before painting them to make this short video probably easier to see. Uh, glued on the uh, 1 6 scale icons uh, antenna holder, and that's where the antenna folds down. Uh, on the turret, I was able to get quickly, thanks to Dave at Armor Packs who helped out uh, the, the correct lift rings, one there, one there. Uh, also added from a spare Dragon Panzer II kit, this guard for the visor. Uh, you don't see it in all the the H versions, but a lot of them have it. Uh, not sure if it was like a field added modification. The visor itself, by, by the time the L version came along, this was removed. Uh, the other two Panzer threes that I have are L's and don't have that in here. Uh, then here's the horn, the backside. I made a little uh, mount with styrene and some bolts. This is the stock horn. Found it way too big, so got rid of that. Uh, the other lights from Monkey Rabbit are very nice. The small ones there that have like the blackout cover. The ones here didn't, so I added blackout cover with styrene. Made another styrene uh, bracket for uh, extra track links, as I did on top of the turret. And the Nordic light, again, this is the armor packs piece, which is very nice. The stock piece from Monkey Rabbit was this. Not terrible, but this is much better. So, also replace that. Uh, on the other side, I have the tank on a shallow, shallower box though. That's what it's. All right, move it around. Here, I know. The other side of the lift rings and then since i only had from the panzer two kit only had one other guards i made this other one from styrene as close as possible to to the other one on the other side is the armor packs uh, bin with the nice latches and here the armor packs rear nordic really nice piece so now I'll do another short video showing the track length. Then later I'll I'll paint Panzer Gray so all these parts will be Panzer Gray. And then I'll do a video with the shading process, which I always say is the key part of making my vehicle vehicles look like they look. More later. Short video here to show what I did for the extra track links okay. uh, the vehicle stock came with uh, with this area down here to get these tracks again double purpose he had extra links and it protected that vulnerable area of the tank I added a couple of more I did this piece here with styrene. That's not it. That's not it either. Okay. Looks very nice. And then I'm also going uh, to add uh, some more track links. Uh, to this area here following uh, an image that I found uh, that it had track links uh, 
overlapping each other. Not exactly like I have them here, but something similar. Uh, and then single ones on the end. And then finally, I made this. Oh, that's not it. I made this one too. To get some more fragment there. That goes in nicely. Styrene, using a lot of the micro fastener uh, bolts. Uh, so it's shaping up nicely. I'll still finish these less of, of a silvery because these are not getting anywhere. So I'll do a little more whole red or something. So it's like rusty. Not overdoing it because these weren't uh, balls of rust going along, you know. Uh, uh, but the tracks, you know, I'll, I'll remove that, that silvery part where it's shown. Uh, and make it more of a of a rust color uh, and highlighting with light rust color. So that is for now. Next time around, I'll I'll have painted all the parts that are shown white. Uh, then I'll do the shading, and that that'll be a separate video. That's all for now.